Hey, what's up guys? Beaker here, starting a new series today about maxing Town Hall 8. It's one of the most important, pivotal moments in Clash, I think, is uh, what you do at Town Hall 8. Uh, I think a lot of people quit at Town Hall 8 or after Town Hall 8. I think that because I see a lot of inactive Town Hall 8s. Um, it's kind of where it starts to almost get into the big boys league. You've got some long upgrades, you've got some expensive upgrades, but in my opinion, it is the most important to max. Why? Well, I think this may be the last time a lot of people have a completely maxed Town Hall. Once you get to Town Hall 9, your walls and heroes uh, have huge points of maxing out. You know, heroes at 30, walls at 10. So... If you max your town hall eight, you're you're in good shape. You've got a you know you got a level ten barbarian king to start out going into town hall nine, and you've got level eight walls. Level eight walls are kind of the most important part of maxing town hall eight, I think. Um, well, of course defenses, but that's a given. The walls, um, ta level eight walls are are nearly acceptable at high level play. I mean, really, you want level nine, but minimum. But Level 8's pretty close. And why not do it at a lower town hall where it's easy? You can take easy raids like this that was almost 300,000 gold from a town hall 7 that all I did was surround the base with barbs and archers. Anybody can do this. Um, keep in mind, using less troops each raid is uh, going to increase your gold per hour. Uh, you can raid faster if you only use half your army. That's a key point I'm going to talk about a lot. It's so what I did in this raid. Um, this is a, a low loot offer. Not too low, but I, I'd really rather have 200,000. But if I take this and only use half my army, that's good income. I can raid quickly again, you know, 5 or 10 minutes later, and uh, I'll still get a good gold per hour. Gold per hour is a, a really important part of farming. Everyone should know their gold per hour. And you should aim for a million gold per hour or more. One million gold per hour is a pretty standard benchmark for any good farmer. Um, at Town Hall 8, it should be easy to achieve that. That's why I say that's a good benchmark for right now. At later Town Halls, especially Town Hall 10, that gets quite difficult. But it still can be done using the um, you know minimal troops method using only enough troops needed to get the loot. Sometimes that's going to mean uh, losing the raid, losing cups. That's something we'll talk about later, but right now these bases are so easy. You can just crash in and uh, take everything and probably three-star it. Uh, not always going to need Clan Castle, but it's another way to conserve troops. If you have anything, uh, I think um, you know, archers and minions are probably the best and easiest to get CC troops. So if you have those, um, say you have 20 to 25 troops in your clan castle, that's 20 to 25 less you will need to use out of your camp. Just another way to conserve troops. Also, your barbarian king, uh, try not to let him die completely, but uh, using him will shield your troops, give you a little extra power and uh, help you conserve troops. So, here we got a fully active base. Uh, not much in the mines, but I was searching for a while, so I figured let's get some cups, try to uh, two or three star this base, and uh, get a decent amount of gold. 230,000. So, first off, I'm going to try to pick off some things on the side. This is important. Uh, it's something I've always done in my rating style. It just prevents, uh, when you drop a lot of troops, it prevents them from going to the left or the right. You want them to go straight into the base, of course. Um, then, right in front of my deployment zone there, I see a, an open spot that could have a bomb in it. So I'm always going to be hesitant of spots like that. So I didn't spam my troops yet. Turns out there was nothing there. But always be hesitant about that. Because if I had done this, and <laughs> they all went into a bomb, um... The raid would have been a lot different. So here, there's nothing to distract them from going left or right. They're all going to go straight in. So I'm going to drop the heal spell where I know they're going to go. And the Barbarian King. I should have dropped him a little earlier to uh, 
sort of lead the way and protect my troops, but the heal spell worked fine. So I had some wizards in there. Uh, those are going to be great for clan castle troops for any army, including Bam and Barch. Uh, not everyone can get those, but you can donate them to yourself if you have a second account like I do. I made this account that I'm playing on right now a long, long time ago, and I swear when I say I really didn't do much on this. I didn't raid hardly ever. Uh, I raided in the early town halls just to get enough loot to um, get the basic defenses g going and uh, most importantly max the the mines and pumps. Uh, that was the most important and then I just logged on all the time. Well, not all the time. I logged on once a day and you know collected a lot from my mines. Um, always had my town hall outside and was always at really low cups. So usually, people would just take my town hall and give me a shield. So I'd log in once or twice a day and collect a lot of loot, and it added up really fast. Um, that worked well all the way up to like town hall 7, then I had to raid a little bit. Um, I was also anxious to get to town hall 8, where I am now, because that is the perfect town hall for a uh, donating account. Um, if any of you make a second account, don't worry about going to Town Hall 10 to get, you know, max level 4 dragons or anything. It doesn't make any sense. Town Hall 8 is so easy to get to, and you have level 3 dragons, level 3 P.E.K.K.A.s, and level 5 wizards. You don't really need anything else than that. I mean, those are, those are going to be satisfactory troops. So, uh, I think it's something everyone should think about. It's easiest if you have a second device. I'll do a, a little tutorial tutorial about that in a video soon, but I'm sure you can look one up on YouTube. How to uh, make a new game center and uh, switch game centers and uh, start a new account. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing to be nothing to worry about. You won't lose your account. Uh, you can switch freely. So I definitely think everyone should think about it. Uh, it's a great addition to your clan. You can uh, help your clanmates out with it. So. Here we had a real easy raid. Um, wasn't planning on, you know, trying to three start or anything, but there's just something about when you take out every defense that targets air, and then you send a bunch of minions in and they take out everything. I love that. So I'll never miss an opportunity to do that. All that was left was mortars, and they can't target minions. So I had a couple minions saved up. I wasn't going to use them, but last raid for a little while. I'm just going to throw them down and get the three star. Also good loot. That's the type of raids you want to find. A little boring, but that's how you finish your walls. So we got enough to do a few walls. Um, our goal here is to get all level 8 walls, and we will get there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in in the next couple days for episode 2. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.